silver female. So this little girl is having a little bit of a hard time coming out of the enclosure. Um, she's just been taken away from her litter mates uh, for the first time, <clears throat> carried across the parking lot and just dropped in here. So she's never met me or been in this room before. But, uh, she's crying a little bit, but she's up and sniffing and moving a bit. So it's a fair bit of stress for a puppy everything she's just gone through and what she's experiencing now. It could be slightly, uh, it could be similar to what you get from her when you take her home. So this is what she naturally is uh, going to do and hopefully we can help by getting her through it and make it a good experience and uh, then it's easier also when you take her home. She's already been through it once before. So talking about the release, uh, she does have some body shakes and she is still crying, but she is pushing through it and that's very important uh, that she learns to handle stress by herself. So you're not going to ever pick her up and coddle her. <coughs> you're going to uh, encourage movement, forward motion. Uh, interaction, play, you're going to do everything to redirect her energy as opposed to coddling. If you had to pick her up now and tell her she, you know, poor thing, and coddle her, cuddle her, she would never learn to handle stress by herself. So uh, you want to help her out, not, uh, not make her more reliant on you. Um, I don't know if you can see her, but she's just checking the wall out on her way to me, hopefully, maybe not. to me, her tail started wagging, which is really nice, and she's licking my hand uh, profusely. So far, there's no teeth, so that's wonderful. And I'm just going to say hi. Okay, and let her know I'm approachable and thank good. Okay, she's a very good girl. So very well, a very good job. Um, like I said, uh, you, you know, the, the don't coddle is very important and uh, great training actually is quite important that she has to uh, learn to be by herself. Uh, you can't be with her 24-7, which she would probably like. <coughs> so Can't Help starts great training and if it's done uh, properly and never as a punishment, um, it becomes their favorite, or, you know, a, a favorite place to go and a safe place. Uh, it's a, a really good thing. Uh, you have to cook dinner and go shopping and you can't be with her so, all the time. So uh, she needs to learn that. I'm hoping you can see her. 
because we're going to turn. <laughs> Are you going to go around me again? Very good. Very good. So, so with the interaction, uh, she's quite nice when she's with me and she's happy. Her tail is starting. Yeah. Very, very good. You're a lovely color. A beautiful one. Yeah, are you beautiful? Yeah, are you beautiful? Yes, you are. So to peg uh, social versus environmental, she's uh, certainly more social. Uh, she has not left. But a little bit on the, the she, she wants me to help her side. I mean, a dog that uh, tr uh, comes running to me with a happy tail and plops on my leg and doesn't leave, that's uh, social. Uh, sh she was looking for a little bit of help, so that's why I'm saying don't coddle her, just um, get her to push through on her own. And as I'm talking, you can see that uh, she just left and went and looked at the ball. So she does have a curiosity which is environmental. So she's going away and coming back. But you're not staying away, you know? You can see that she's, uh, it's, it's not demanding, but the cries, uh, she would love nothing more than for me to pick her up, which I'm not doing. And, um, is really nice. She's really looking around the room and she's, uh, there's nothing wrong with either being environmental or social. It just helps you understand uh, how to deal with her and, and things that could be beneficial in her training to make you both happier. So you can see as she's walking around, her tail is getting uh, ha much happier, and uh, she comes and she looks and then she goes and then she comes back. And the body stretch is just, she's not sure what's over there, so she's stretching to be careful. Um, are you 50-50? Huh? Are you 50-50? I'd like to peg her as 50-50. Uh, she's, she's happy with me and she wants to uh, be with me. And she's still uh, environmental and comfortable and brave enough to go and look around that stuff. So we're going to do that, are we? Yeah, see, she's not like stuck to me or anything. She's, uh, she is quite curious of what's over there. Um, so we're going to, I might watch the video again, but I'm pretty sure, well, I will watch the video, but I'm pretty sure that it's a 50-50. Um, she's quite nice when she's with me. So this part of the test is a checking in test. And basically I want to, I see what she does naturally. You know, if I, if I walk around the room, does she follow me around? Uh, does she control me? Does she care where I am? And you can see she's quite good, aren't you? We're going to go over here. Very, very good little girl. Very good. So lots of praise when, uh, like if you're away and she comes to you, use this uh, exercise as a starter of your come. So this is showing a much higher, <laughs> do you like the dots on my slippers? This, the, the, initially this is showing a higher social side. Because she's actually doing quite well. Very good. So with the idea, like the checking in is that uh, you want to be able to take her to, uh, you know, a family function or a park, and uh, she can go and play and have fun with other dogs and other people. But she should know where you are. This is the checking in idea. 
Very good. Very good. So set her up for success by doing an exercise like this in your house and uh, increasing the size of the room, uh, different toys, and then outside. And when she gets the idea that when you, uh, that, that she should know where you are, lots of praise when she comes, eh? What a smart girl. And, and uh, get that bond. You can imagine she has that environmental side, so you can imagine taking her to a big park and uh, it's just too much. Yes? If she doesn't know, yes, very, very good. So she did a really good job there. It didn't take very long at all. Does not take long. Mm -hmm. So after just sort of following me around and... Are you kissing me? I just whisk her up and see how patient she is. And tolerance. I mean, she's totally body limp and she's just hanging out. So she couldn't do any better. She didn't know why I did that. She was just, okay, this is what we're doing. So lovely level. And she's off exploring. So she keeps showing me that environmental side. So there is uh, exercises that you can do and I think uh, she likes the little dots on my slippers. But we're gonna see what they do here. What's this? Ooh, what is that? So not not scared of the noise of the paper. naturally either. So the play, she's starting to get excited and along with that a little use of teeth as you can see. So um, there are no teeth on skin exercises that she has to uh, understand at an early age that she can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so She's very interactive. I'm sure it will come. Just keep trying. I think uh, that is really good for physical and mental um, work. And it builds a great bond between the two of you. So very good job, little girl. not had any kind of treats other than her puppy food. So I'm going to give her a piece of treat. It's a different flavor and a different texture. So we just want to make sure that she likes it. And then we're going to try a little test. So basically this test is to see if they get overstimulated with a high quality treat because uh, they, it's counterproductive to use a high quality treat if they can't focus. Look. Can you see this? Look. So, amazing job. I mean, some puppies just knock the cup over and bat it around the room and uh, she's just sitting and quietly enjoying her treat. So she's quite responsive uh, to your voice and your patting. So now you can add the treats. I think you will have no trouble whatsoever. 
So you can imagine that if they're so excited about the treat and you're trying to tell them to sit still, you can imagine how that wouldn't work. <laughs> Very good. Keep going. So quite smart, methodical, she did everything great. What's next? You can see that whenever I stop doing something with her, she pretty well runs a, like I'm over at the table and she, she starts playing. So she's quite able to keep herself busy, which is a nice, uh, a nice thing. So that was a fairly loud noise from behind, and she did sort of have a little start up. <coughs> so we don't really care about that. We expect them to start up. It's how she recovers that's important. <coughs> so she didn't run to me and cry. She didn't shut down. You can see the body stretch. She's leaning towards, but she's the bucket. She's already, she pretty well turned around and went to the noise source. Figured out it was nothing, <clears throat> and then uh, carried on playing. So that that's excellent. She didn't ask me for any help. She completely did that on her own. So very, very good job. Some puppies uh, go back to the door where they come in or go in the corner <clears throat> and lay down, and I can't really get them back. So uh, excellent job. What's this? Oh, you have a lot of company. What's that? So very, very good. Again, most puppies don't like that motion. She was curious and uh, confident, brave. Hey, oh, what's that? So very, very good. Mm -hmm. So just uh, recommending to keep introducing different sounds, different colors different motions, just broaden their world so that they uh, keep that nice level of confidence. It's a really nice way of going through life. So now we're going to see if she has a base prey drive. Or, or what her base prey drive is, I should say. So she's quite connected. Uh, she's not quick, but she's determined. So she has a you know medium to high prey drive actually. Um, it didn't take her very long to pounce, and she was connected right from the start. So to just recap, uh, she does have that environmental side, and uh, she also has a confident side, and now she has a pretty good prey drive. So. Just uh, please use your exercises like watch me, drop it, leave it. Uh, all the exercises that will put her focus back on you. You want to be able to redirect her as quick as you can. Uh, there are real squirrels and kids and bites and stuff. So she's absolutely lovely. She has a beautiful energy level and she's very smart. I hope you enjoy. Where are you going with that? Are you going to enjoy that? <laughs> 